All right, guys, today we are going to start a new unit. We are in unit two. Here's your starter. What are the four factors that influence design? And to describe structural design. So take a second, answer these questions, pause this video. Okay, guys, so the four factors that influence design are going to be function, materials, technology, and style. So remember that function is the purest form of design and we always want to fo uh, form follow function, okay? Materials, what the object is made out of, technology is how we're going to make it, and style is everybody has that different style, okay? Structural design is a design that cannot be separated from the object, okay? Remember that wheelie chair? We don't take the wheels off. So, today we are going to be talking about line. This is our first element of design, so you're going to need these notes. It is in your unit two module, so make sure that you either print these off or pick them up from the school. Okay, so let's dive in. An element of design is also known as the tools of design, and line is just one of them. We are going to be talking about all of these in this unit, but you need to know that line is our first element of design. So line, this is the connection of two different points. It's the element in a room that moves your eye from one place to another. It's super important. There's four different types of line. There's a vertical line, horizontal line, curved line, diagonal line. Okay, so in your notes, you want to make sure that you draw in an example of each of these in those boxes. Vertical line. Now, vertical line is the line that runs up and down. It's very formal, it leads your light up, and it gives you this feeling of height, this feeling of strength, okay? Um, so it's really important if you are wearing vertical lines for job interview, it makes you feel a lot more formal, feel more confident in yourself, but if you need a space that does that for you, a vertical line would do that. Horizontal line is a line that runs from left to right. It's very restful. It's very relaxing. It's very informal and cap oh, I went on too far. Whoops, and it's very comfortable. Okay And so this is really great if you need a casual space Somewhere to relax like a bedroom or maybe your living room Diagonal line is very active. It suggests movement excitement energy and direction so this is really great if you need a place to wake up in the morning like a bathroom that would do that for you curved line this is graceful it's very feminine it's delicate it's uh, gentle it's from nature so it allows you to really create um, a more natural looking space using curved lines now what I want you to do, usually in class I'm going to have you do an arm gesture, but because we're not in class, I just want you to say it out loud, okay? What type of line do you see when you look at this picture? For me it's horizontal, okay? We've got a very flat looking couch, horizontal in that slack back there. For me, this room gives me a lot of different line, but it's mostly vertical. We've got a really long vertical here, vertical back there, vertical, 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 but you've also got a mix of curved here with this chair and this feature wall back here. This one is definitely curved for me, okay? The reason why the decanters down here are curved, the table it's sitting on is circular, the chairs have a curved line here, and you've got curved on our lighting pieces, mirror, and then the sconces over here as well. Not to mention on the lamps, you've got some nice curves here. This is a diagonal space for me, mostly, and this is really the only reason, this rug, okay? It's so diagonal for me. That rug just creates such diagonal spaces for me. However, I also feel like it's really curved with the patterns on the chairs and on the pillows. What do you guys think? For me, this is a mixture. I get a lot of mixes in this space. So I've got some really good vertical line here, some diagonal in the stairs, some curved right here on this table, 
horizontal on the furniture. So this room really embodies the mixture of line. So your first assignment is to pull out one of your magazines and find a room that used line, okay? Cut it out, border it. Remember, we're going to back mount with a fourth inch border. Your color should either complement the picture or be completely neutral. And then you're gl gluing it in on the page next to your line notes, okay? Um, your second one is a choice project, okay? So you can either create an illusion, okay? So are these lines straight or curved? They're all straight. You can either choose to make an illusion like this. So you can either do a half sheet of card, uh, cardstock and create your own line illusion, excuse me. Um, if you do this, you need to use three types of line and the illusion must be colored. Um, then you're gonna glue it in after your line room. If you don't wanna do that, if you would rather, you can do something called a black and white design. So you can draw some type of design using black ink. I don't care what the design is, but you have to use all four types of line, use at least five different thick thicknesses of line, and you have to have a black frame border, okay? And this is either gonna get labeled as black and white design, if you did the black and white design, or you're gonna do illusion, if you did the illusion. I'm okay with you guys picking your second line project. I don't care what you choose as long as you do it, okay? So two line assignments here. You've got that room where you're looking for line and you're going to either make a line illusion or a black and white design. That's all I've got for you today. Happy travels.